Okay, students. Assalamu uh, alaikum. Let's uh, start from where we stopped last time. Uh, since we have already covered major areas of uh, fluid mechanics uh, and uh, the principles of fluid mechanics, and uh, we have been studying some of the applications of fluid mechanics uh, uh, in terms of the fluid conduits, uh, now we are going to move towards the furthermore uh, some some few more applications of fluid mechanics specifically in the field of mechatronics engineering uh, the most important and the most relevant application of fluid mechanics in mechatronics engineering is uh, the study of um, uh, hydraulics and pneumatics so today's lecture is basically about hydraulics and pneumatics Okay, so let's uh, discuss a little about hydraulics and pneumatics from, from, from the principles or the fundamentals point of view. Uh, this is basically the fluid power system. So mostly uh, whenever we have to do some work, mechanical power is needed. But if we do all the work with the help of mechanical power, a lot of power is needed to be, uh, to, to be dispensed from our site. Uh, so in order to aid uh, the work or in order to aid the power uh, supplying, what we do is that we do power amplification with the help of the fluid systems. So uh, we apply a little amount of power and then the fluid system supplements the, uh, the our power application and produces the rest of the power required to do the operation. So with only a little amount of power applied from our side, a lot of uh, output can be produced. And this is basically the, uh, the hydraulics and pneumatics is all about. So basically, these both hydraulics and pneumatics are basically the fluid uh, power systems. Is to hear the the main principle based on which the hydraulics and pneumatic works is uh, uh, the Pascal's law. Pascal's law is something that we studied as a very first thing um, in the fluid statics in chapter number three of your textbook. Okay, here the word hydraulics generally refers to power produced by moving liquids. Modern hydraulics is defined as the use of confined liquids to transmit power, multiply force, or produce motion. Most of the hydraulics applications are, uh, are, are the ones which, uh, which we go through in our daily life uh, in, in the form of uh, uh, automotive vehicles. Like for example, in car, previously I used to drive a car where, where uh, it had mechanical steering system. Uh, so if I had to turn the car around, it needed to take a lot of effort on my side to actually uh, produce that much amount of power to turn the car. Uh, but now once I have started using the car with hydraulic steering system, so it simply becomes very easy because I had to apply only a small amount of power and uh, the rest of the power is being supplied by the fluid system, which is the hydraulic system within the car uh, to steer the wheel. And so the turning of car becomes really easy and with, with the help of the hydraulic steering. So this is actually one example. Then hydraulic brakes are there within the car. We have hydraulic jacks. So most of the hydraulic applications which one normally would hear uh, in the daily life would be uh, would be in the form of uh, uh, would be in the form of automotive vehicles so would be related to automotive vehicles. So, anyways, talking about uh, hydraulics, uh, basically the main the main law or the fundamental law which is used there, there is the Pascal's law. The Pascal's law says that the pressure applied on a confined fluid is transmitted in all directions with equal force on equal areas. So, this is actually one another uh, uh, definition of the Pascal's law. But you have already studied the definition of Pascal's law in chapter number three uh, as a very first thing in fluid statics when we started. Multiplication of force. Since liquid transmit the same amount of pressure in all directions, the force transmitted to the output piston is multiplied by a factor equal to the area ratio 
of the output piston to the input piston. Uh, the main idea of this Pascal's law is that the pressure is transmitted in all directions equally. Okay, so what does it mean is that uh, suppose if I want to apply a large amount of force, okay, I can have a fluid system where I apply only a small amount of force over a very small area and that could generate a specific pressure, but this pressure is transmitted to the other side. And if on the other side I have a very large area, then a very large amount of force is applied there in order to have the same pressure because pressure is force over area if the area is large force applied or the force the force input will both be large so in case of the input where we have to apply the force uh, we keep the area very small so very small force is needed but for the case of the output we keep the area very large for the piston so that the force the output is also very large so by the application of an only a very small amount of input force, we can have a very large amount of output force based upon what is the area ratio between the uh, output and the input uh, within the hydraulic system. So this is the main principle based on which uh, the hydraulic uh, system works. So when we talk about the hydraulic and pneumatic systems, basically, if I, if I generalize both hydraulic and pneumatic uh, in one umbrella, I will call it as fluid power system. So in case of the fluid power system, this is a specific technology that deals with three things. The first thing is the generation of power. So we need to generate fluid power. Yeah, power is there in the form of electrical energy, might be there in the form of mechanical energy, but for the case of the fluid power system, we need to generate or convert it into the fluid power. So if the generation is done, so the fluid power is available with us. Now, the next thing is that we have to control that fluid power. So that, that fluid power, which is now available to us, which has now been generated, uh, cannot be just simply used uncontrollably. Otherwise, most of it will be wasted. So we have to control it uh, in a specific way, the way we want it. Okay, And then once we control it, then we have to uh, convert that fluid power back into the mechanical output. And that's the transmission. So where we have, where we are, where we are actually converting the fluid power back into the mechanical output or the fluid power is being transmitted to produce a specific output. So this is basically the fluid power system, uh, which is so which is the main muscle that moves the industry. So when we talk about uh, uh, when we talk about the fluid power systems, uh, it's the basic principles are there are are are, are these. There's, there's the generation of fluid power, then there's a the control of the generated fluid power. And then there is transmission of uh, uh, fluid power uh, into mechanical output. So, if uh, now, now if the main working fluid within this fluid power system is a liquid, for example, we have we we are having a hydraulic oil, then this is known as hydraulics. But suppose if the main working fluid is not a liquid rather it is a gas for example air we are using a pressurized air then this is known as pneumatic system so that's the basic difference between the hydraulic and pneumatic system hydraulic systems deals with the liquids and the pneumatic system deals with the gas okay. and most of the time for the hydraulics we have the hydraulic oils and for the case of gases we have uh, the pressurized air which is used and so this is um, the general basic difference. So, so what is the difference between hydraulic and pneumatic? This is important. Okay, so from the from the short questions point of view, I can ask you, okay, uh, how would you differentiate between hydraulic and pneumatic system? The second thing that could be asked is that uh, what are the main functions of the fluid power system? Or, or for the hydraulic and pneumatic system. So the main functions of the fluid power system uh, involves generation of the fluid power, the control of fluid power, and then transmission uh, of the fluid power to produce uh, desired output. So this is also uh, in terms of the short question that could be asked in the exams.
So anybody have any questions so far till this point, you are free to ask. Uh, a very common example or a very uh, simple example of the hydraulic and the pneumatic system is um, this uh, gravity fed uh, system where we have uh, uh, where we have a bunch of boxes uh, which are basically first uh, uh, taken out from from the stack and then uh, placed it in the boxes okay so we have here two actuators okay one actuator is this another actuator is this both are hydraulically op operated um, uh, so one actuator is going to eject uh, one of the box from the stack and the other actuator is then going to place it uh, in, in, into the large packing so if you have to uh, develop this kind of a system, still the hydraulic systems are hydraulic or pneumatic systems are needed to actually design this kind of arrangement. Okay, now let's uh, discuss uh, a little about uh, the basic components of the fluid power systems. 